Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Oh, oh no, I wanted to get that sliced apples. I'm hungry. Uh, welcome back to Spirit of the Island, where today I'm really hoping we will get this boat up and running. So I'm going to go and check on my crops, see if they need a, a water, because they are going to be... Oh, they're at 100%. Yes. How much infantry space I got. It's rare I have very much. Um... Okay, well enough for three different types of things, but the broccoli should stack, so it should be all right. I do love the fact that you don't have to do too much with these uh, these fields. They last for a while. 33, that's 100 for the carrots. And I am just going to try and sell, like, everything. Um, it looks like a lot of this needs... Oh! Oh, what did I eat? I was supposed to hit two, which was supposed probably a sliced fruit, which I did plan to do anyway. Um, I was supposed. <laughs> Grr. Oh, not enough water. Okay, I'm gonna go and start some salad going on the ovens, and then I'll go and uh, get some more water. Finish watering the crops. I'll check on my little chicky D as well. And let's see how much small salad I can make. So small salad is great. Uh, you do need firewood. I've got 12. I think I can make 12. Uh, yeah. So let's hope they don't get stuck. Oh, that would be awful. I would cry. But yeah, then let's just grab some water because it's still like 4 or 5 in the morning. And then I'm going to go and sell all the coconuts I've picked up. I also need, so that I don't have to sell all my coconuts, to get the uh, water onto a quick slot and then just get that topped up. Uh, six. I really do wish you could do a whole stack at once, but oh well. Uh, when I go to see Jordan, if I've got any money left over, Oh, I got another stuck bottle. Oh no, okay, I didn't. I didn't. I managed to grab it. Come on. But I'll I'll grab one more bottle because we lost one. It got stuck in the lake. That's so annoying, huh? Okay. Let's uh go over to the watering can. We shall water these fields. And then hopefully we can go on an exciting, exciting adventure in the boat. You can get upgraded like gold tools and things, and I think that that will be something I'll be looking into pretty soon. Um, seeing if I can make those with some of the metals and things I'm finding. Because if that means I've got less trips to the to the water, then that would be really useful. my leg down. I need to be really careful not to, like, I tend to cross my legs a lot to relieve pressure off my hips. I'm not supposed to be doing that right now, so. It's like, get those legs down. Okay, so I'm gonna have some water. I think I'm okay for food just now. Let's see how the salads are doing. Why does this always happen after I've watered the crops? Every time. Every single time. Okay, so thankfully the salads did not get stuck on the oven. That's why you make them on the basic oven. So we'll take a little trip across the town. We'll sell all of this and we'll see. I'll also take any quests that we've got. Um, taking them every day means I don't end up having a ton stacked up. So I can just focus on the one I've got at the, you know, at a time. Which is wonderful. It's wonderful seeing the tourists around. I'm, I'm sad that they're bored though. I'd love to do things to help them feel a bit happier in their little beachside retreat. It keeps, like, raining, so I can't imagine that's much fun for them. I wonder whose shoes are down there hanging off the pier. Considering I just woke up, like, I really am quite sleepy. <laughs> I was hoping I could make it in, at least just into town and back. 
before I need to go to have a nap. I wonder if like the extra power from like overeating and over drinking kind of mitigates the tiredness or whether that's just not a thing. Right, so it doesn't look like we've got another quest quite yet. Oh, we're still waiting for that. I'll have a chat to everybody I can. Mm, who are you? You're very curious. Do you need anything? If it's nothing important, it would be better for you to come back another day. My name's Shelab. I'm new here, so I'm just trying to get to know everybody. That's cool. You have a name. And apparently, you're the type who likes to be the centre of attention. See you around. What? Ah, you're Shelab. I'm busy with something important right now. Let me know when you need something that actually requires my attention. Okay. Well, like, Homie is not, not happy with me. I mean, Homie, I thought we'd already chatted with Hermie, so 10%, okay. We've got some people that are like on 30% and things like that. Some people I've not seen too much of. But, you know, we're doing okay. I'll just keep going with the quests and stuff and I'll chat to people as I come across them. But who we really want to see, we might not be hit on nine actually, is uh, Jordan. Oh look, there's a water thing. I don't seem to want to interact with anything though. Anything that's not mine. Who's is this place? It's very pretty, but I don't know whose it is. I love the little houses in this. They're really cute. I want to know, like, stuff like how do I upgrade my house and uh, uh, loads of other things. But I don't know whether those things won't come up until... I don't know. Oh, here comes... In fact, Tony. Hello, Sheila. How are you? Did you get the chance to meet anyone from Snuggleton yet? Most of the people here are nice. Of course, each one of them has a different personality, so you just need to know how to handle them. Don't forget to explore the island as well. I'm good. I'm still adapting. I spoke with some locals. I'm even looking forward to meeting everyone on the island. You look very happy. I'm happy to have you in the neighbourhood. I'd be happy to talk to you later. Fortunately for me, I've got a new job here that I'll need to focus more on. I wonder what that is. Very intriguing. Yeah, let's have a chat to Jordan. Have you ever thought about how many treasures are out there and have never been found? I suppose so. It'd be cool to explore and search for them. Yeah, that sounds good. I have the experience to help. But really, I'm only interested in the profit. Ha 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 ha. See, Hermie is the only one that I've cho that I've come across so far that I chose the top option and it didn't give me a plus five. So next time I talk to Hermie, I'm going to try like a different one, whether it's the second or third option. And see if I can work out, like, it might be like that there's a certain personality behind each option one, two, and three. And that Hermie doesn't respond well to it. So let's do a trade. So I've got 12 small salads to sell. Organic trash just sells for one, that's fine. Carrot sell for eight. So I would rather sell the leftovers. Um, I will need the wheat, though, to make stuff. But I'd rather sell the leftovers. I'm always short on lettuce. That's always the one I'm the shortest on. Although that might change because I did plant some more. I'll, I'll keep the cherries and the apples to eat. Um... That's a lot of money for those trees, though. I will eventually probably plant them. And I said I wanted to buy one bottle, didn't I? I have 5,071 now. So if I buy... One bottle. So I could do potatoes, I can do cauliflowers. There's all sorts of other things I can do and other foods I can make. But at the moment, as I say, I'm just saving up for the boat. One thing at once, really. I, I, I struggle otherwise, um, you know, when I'm trying to be, get too fancy with things. But there's no reason I can't make some extra fields. Hi. I know you just arrived, but don't worry about it, okay? Everyone here is welcome, regardless of whether you're a novice or a veteran. Take the opportunity to know a little more about the bar crowd. Although I haven't been here long, I already feel at home. The air in Snuggleton is invigorating. I've already met some people and they were very friendly. I agree. Just like you, I'm not from Snuggleton either. This place was uh, the only one that took me in. There's something special here. Does it tell me anything more about that? About it really doesn't, does it? You need to find the right tools. Perhaps you can fix it yourself. No idea. Like what tool I would need. I mean, I've got like I've tried the hammer on it. It didn't seem to to do anything. 
so I'm still a little bit confused about that one. But yeah, we're mostly down here to see if I can find Jack. He tends to hang around here, although I should really have checked the map to see it. Yeah, he is down here. It's fine. have a a little chat about boats shall we i'll chat to you first as well because it's always good to get the extra the extra um like friendship points hi these boats need a checkup they look like they're made with popsicle sticks what the heck will the tourists think don't stand there just looking at it what have you been doing lately um do you need help jack i'm starting to plant a few things i want to help snuggleton grow and believe this will be the way i like your attitude sailor but don't worry i've got some tricks up my sleeve and a good hammer as well if i uh, if I need to destroy everything and rebuild again. Ha ha ha. I learned most of the things I know about navigation in the ocean from my father when we went fishing in the ocean. What I'm trying to say is you should try to learn everything that you need now while you're growing crops in your land. And that will certainly help bring back the tourists. Uh, you should try to learn everything you need now you're growing crops in your land. and that will Okay. I am trying to learn everything. It's not always easy. So trade. I would like to buy myself. I think it's the iron boat. And then the speed boat is 12,000, so I really need to save up for that one. And four, uh, 40,000 for a luxury boat. It'll take me a bit further. So the iron boat we'll start with. That's fine. So you can only have one boat at a time, but you can have more than one land vehicle of the same type if you have free space in a garage. Iron boat by, yes. Your new boat will be at your pier next to your property. Wonderful. So I'll have to work out how to like sell the boat back or whatever later, but that's a problem for later. That's not a problem for now. Oh man, I forgot to go and sell the Jordan the um, coconuts. That was silly of me, right? <sighs> oh, well, main thing is I have a boat now, which is super exciting. Let's see. If Jordan is still there, then that's that's great. Also, if there's any quests on the board, I will uh, have a look at them. Sometimes they can be really lucrative. No, he's just left. Oh, that's a shame. That's okay, though. And there's still no quest up on the board, so you might have to wait another day for that one. I do wonder, though, if... If old lady... What's her face? Might have some ideas... The mayor might have some ideas on things for me to do. With the abandoned house, maybe. I need to keep talking to people, trying to work things out. Where'd she go? I wish I could zoom in a bit more. She was around here. Oh, someone lives in a little van. Oh, I can't get in there, though. Okay. Is she? I don't think she's down the beach. Oh no, she is down the beach actually. I'm gonna start slowing down though because of my. I've been here too long. I just want to chat to old lady and then we can go and uh, have a nap. I want to try and stay up long enough that it's. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't even talk to people. Ah. Apparently, I'm not in a good enough mood. Well, I guess we'll have to do that another day then. Because I had, there's nothing I can do about about resting other than go back home. So, Ooh. but our next big project then. Now we've got a boat, and we can go fight pirates. I need to work out how to fight crabs. I would say probably before I try to fight pirates. I probably need another machete. I think I did have two. So I'll have to see if I've got two. If not, I'll have to make a new one. I just realized it's like cherries behind here. Can I steal them? In theory, yes. In theory, yes, but no, because I can't, because I'm in a bad mood. But another day I'd be able to go in and nick those cherries. 
so it's good to start to learn where things are on the islands and uh, what I can grab. I'm wondering if some of the other islands will have um, the things I need to, to start growing other trees. Or whether I'm going to need to like get a, pay the 750 to get a starter tree of each one if I want orchards. And then I'll have to remember not to cut that tree down. I'll probably have to start myself like a little starter orchard somewhere. And I'll just grow all the little different trees. Make sure that they're... I don't know how long they take to grow is the only problem. Whether they take a long, long time. I mean, the apple trees didn't take too long, I don't think. But then, have I grown any apple trees or have I only grown cherry bushes? Because they took a while, but like, not even like a whole season. Maybe like a week or something, like a few days. So, if I assume that trees are the same, probably the best thing to do would be to get trees that are going to be ripening in the next season on to what I'm on. So, ones for summer and autumn would be ideal right now. But then if I don't get them on, get onto them until the autumn, then that would be a different thing. Oh, look, I think some of these might be ready. I can see some cherries poking through. But I do need to go to bed. Because I am shattered. But yeah, it seems like I'm getting a decent amount of money through for my efforts in the field. So let's do a nine hour sleep. So I've had a really good sleep. Okay, then I will have some water. Okay, game is saved. Now I'll get some water. I will drink it. I will drink two bottles. And then, do I have any like cherries or do I just have, I just have apples seemingly? So let's just eat a few apples. I'll save the cherries though. I'm gonna put the organic waste and the remaining cherry and the remaining wheat away. Um, I do kind of need to try as quickly as I can to turn the wheat into something, uh, into feed for the chickens. Okay, so we're a bit dark at the moment, unfortunately. I'm trying to get as much of this happening in the light as I can, but not always totally possible. It looks like I do need to water everything, so that would be a good start to the day. I do need to fill up my watering can as well. Looks like some of the lettuces are ready, irritatingly, because I just sold a load of carrots and broccoli. But when I get a fridge, things are going to be a lot easier. I'll fill up my water bottles. And I'll fill up my watering can. So maybe a fridge would be a uh, thing to really work on, because then I can just put all everything in there. And it won't go off. I won't suddenly be getting an organic waste. Oh, my pickaxe and my axe and everything are... Everything's about to break. That's not ideal. But yeah, I feel like a bicycle on a fridge would be a really big quality of life improvements. But you know what we need to do today, though? Go check out the boat and see if we can go to a different island or something on it. Because that is clearly the excitement of this episode. So we have a boat and we can go different places. My food, my water and my uh, rest is at its best right now. I will have to see. Oh man. Got to fill up the water. See now we're short on carrots. I've got like 12 lettuces and no carrots. So I'll get these last three watered and then I will uh, go and check out the pier and see what our new boat is uh, capable of. Now, probably I've got full water. I'm just going to put away some of the stuff in this chest here. Some of the uh, lettuces, hammer, broccoli. And maybe I'll just... I'll forage food on the run, maybe. 
Okay, let's go. Let's see what, let's see what this boat's all about. I may need to make petrol for it, so we might not be able to go anywhere. We might just be able to go and visit it and just, like, suss it out for now. I think we might need gas for it. I don't know whether it might be nice to me and start me off with a full tank. It might not be. Stay clear of those bees until I can work out what to do with them to get some uh, hives going. That looks like it might have coal or something in it. Some of those rocks. So the tourists haven't come in yet. Oh, here they come. Hello. They're bored. They're walking around. I would love to give them something more to do. But uh, for now, I'm just happy that they are here at all. Here's my boat. Oh, how wonderful. Right, so. Manage your boat here. Every island will have a pier similar to this. Talk to the captain to buy boats. Okay. I don't know what that's all about. So we have 30 out of 30 fuel. Beautiful. Uh, it looks like this is the closest one. Make sure you have some food and drinks with you. Six hours, three hours. Two hours, two hours, and two hours. Refuel, repair boat, and travel. All right, let's just travel then. Let's see what that island's all about. What's the worst that can happen, right? Oh my goodness me, look at this place. Wow. It's got an exciting looking dock, hasn't it? I wonder if there'll be people here. Oh! Oh, that's not good. Oh no, I don't have my machete on me. Oh. No, I don't know my way around enough to see. I, I think I lost them. Good grief. Oh, there's another one. Ah! There's lots of apples here and stuff, though. Let's go and grab an apple. I stupidly didn't make another machete, so I can't. I just have to run away. Okay, there's crabs and stuff, and snails and things. Um. Okay, I'm gonna just like try and stay away from them. Oh no, there's loads of them. Just using the mini map here to try and <laughs> stay clear. Oh, there's another one up there. Let's see if I can just give him a wide berth. And then he might not chase me. It seems like there's a ton of like super useful stuff here. The chest there. I didn't bring a chest key, so this is all the things that I. <laughs> Let's have a look at the map there. So there's yeah, I've really not found a ton of stuff other than like a load of wild boar. There's trees that I can cut down. There's rocks I can smash. I'm just gonna like go around this way, avoiding all the horrible, all these horrible boar. I was, lo I would have loved it if there was like a cave or something. I could have. Well, I can s jump down there and sneak past. How wonderful! Oh, let's try taking down a tree here. So. Like a different kind of wood, maybe? I don't think I have these kind of trees on my island. Get quite a lot of wood from it. I don't know if I can take the stump. It doesn't look like I can. 
A lot of fibre and things. Oh, there's loads of crabs there. That's not good. Looking for any, like, caves or anything like that I can find. I wonder if I can, like, kill things with an axe. That'd be an interesting one, wouldn't it? Should we have a go? Oh, I can. I need to be able to see him to be able to hit him, though. Ow. That was badly, really poorly timed. I think a machete would be the better way. Ow. Not good. Rather owie. Come back here, you. <laughs> I am not ready for a boar yet, though. Try that right now. Crabs are hard enough. I just wonder what I'll get off him, though. Maybe I'll get like, crab claws or something. I've got 30 left, but there we go. Loads of fat and a shell and crab claws. I am hungry, I am thirsty, I am tired. I need to get back to my boat, I would say, pretty soon. We definitely need to get some better weapons, I would say. But yeah, there's loads of coconuts and stuff around here. Things like mushrooms I can grab. Eat an apple quickly. Don't really want to eat the mushrooms too much. The mushrooms seem to last a long while though, which is quite nice. Right, I don't want to go anywhere near this boar if I can help it. If I can not aggro him, that would be great. A lot of apples and things, quite a lot of coconuts. Definitely just come here and grab a load of apples and coconuts and stuff. Um, whole load of crabby crabs again. Stay out of their way. Mm, we've got the dock there. More beach up here. Not seeing any like caves or anything. Um, don't know, maybe some other rock would be roofable. Let's have a look. So we can definitely come to these islands to strip them of all their natural resources. What is that? My... There's no way, if I ate that one last apple. I would probably be able to pick that up. Some iron ore, see? Useful. I need to come back a little bit more prepared though, I think. Just a bit. But I think all in all, that was a successful first run. Um, the islands definitely seem to have a little bit more in the way of... So, fuel, 5 out of 30. So can I not return? Oh, okay, you don't need any um, fuel. I see. Island not available yet. That would require 40 fuel, and mine only has 30. So I can only go to these ones. What's that about, though? See, some of them have, like, a different symbol on them. Now, I wonder if that means that there's pirates there. Probably does. Is that like a little cannon? That might mean that, you, that it's a pirate island. So pirate island might be a little bit much for me. 
So I probably just want to go back to the snug. And, you know, that was a good... That was a good first try. So now what I need to do is work out how to make fuel. Um, oh look, another little boat's come in with all the tourists. Oh, my dock's looking awesome. I need to make myself a new machete. <laughs> so I think I just need to like maybe have a little home day, honestly, and just uh, make things. I never mind a little home day. Oh wow, my bag's all full. Definitely need a home day. I need a, a day where I sort out my inventory. I go get some food. Make myself a new machete so I can go in and kill things. But also I need apparently to have a sleep. I'm very tired. I'm actually slowing down because I'm so tired. That crab took a lot to kill, see? So I'm just going to have a quick look at my workbench, if it'll allow me to. No, it won't. Okay, let's just go and have a sleep then. There's a few things I kind of want to... Oh, I need a little adjust there. I'm back starting to... I think probably about an hour sat at my desk is is getting to be my sort of limit there at the moment. But I expect if I can do that a couple of times a day, then I can sort of get a video done and get one edited. It shouldn't be too bad. Um... Right, so we've got loads of cool stuff. Got some extra mushrooms. We are getting loads more of those. I've got a shell now. Oh my goodness, shells sell for like 60 each. Huh, iron hammer? Oh, they sell for 20 each. The iron hammer sells for 60 apparently. For 20 each and a crab core sells, uh, crab legs sells for 30. Wow, okay. Is there anything that I can make with a crab leg? I'm kind of interested now. Elixir, red flower, bottle of water, and firewood for health. Oh, they're health potions. Okay, so look out for red flowers. Spring salad, lettuce, broccoli, cauliflower, beet, potato. I bet that's got a lot of uh, stuff in it. I don't know what my cooking is. Is my cooking at two yet? Am I cooking even shark? Uh, smash salad, sliced fruits, antidote, sickness or malaise. So I'm going to be starting to need things like that very soon. Okay, so let's go to the advanced one and see if there's any like crab leg things there. Pumpkin with shrimp. I would say anything that like says crab on it we'd probably be looking for. Strong breakfast. Sushi, pizza, baked fish, hearty lunch. It looks like there's some things that have shrimp in them and I wonder whether I can do something with the uh, crab leg. If you find a way to break it, can be delicious and used in different meals. So let's go into my hammer menu and see if like there's anything there about cracking open a Miller or processor cheese machine. I don't know what to do with them at the moment. It's probably will just sell them, but every time I kill one of those crabs, that's like 50. There's loads of them everywhere. So yeah, we need to make a new machete though. And uh, yeah, let's get outside and have a look at that. It's very early morning right now, but uh, that's fine. I could make myself like a silver hammer or a golden hammer. Um, I need crafting three though for that, so probably can't make it quite yet. 
But a new machete is just an, uh, two iron ingots and two wooden plates. So let's see if I've got that somewhere. Um, must do. I'm going to take any organic manor, uh, matter I find away. I'll put it in with all the other organic matter. Some copper, some fibre. There we are. I've got a whole bunch of... Uh, in fact, I even have one wood plate. But uh, I'll probably just, I need to make a couple, to be honest, because I need two of them for my machete. So, wooden plate... Times two. And then I will make myself a brand new machete. And then maybe we'll go and like have a, a look at the crabs around the island. Um, let's see how we're doing with these. Anything ready yet? A lot of 66%. So things that will be ready in the next day or so. But yeah, that'll be a really good way. If I can sort of get the hang of it. That'll be a, an extra way to get some some good money there. Um, do I have any anything I can eat in here? I do, actually. I'm short on carrots, though. So for now, I think all of these need to just go in here. Now I need to just eat some, I don't know, lettuces or something. It's kind of annoying because everything's a little bit out of uh, sync with each other. And like I say, that would be very much fixed. That'll do, I think. Uh, that'll be very much fixed when I can get a refrigerator up and running. So that will probably be the next thing to have a really good look at what I need to do to get one. Because just a little fridge in the corner there would be very handy. In my little kitchen. So, yeah, let's see. So, electrical parts, mechanical parts, repair kits, small engines. So what do we need for a fridge? to set up electricity for it but maybe we'll make the fridge first and then see what i need for it uh so fridge okay so you need uh 10 electrical wires battery six packs of screws 10 mechanical parts and 10 electrical parts okay copper ingot all right did i make any copper ingots yet oh, i've got all the stuff to make my machete though so that's something i'll be making first because that's needed. Um, did I ever make any copper ingots? Copper ore around the place. Uh, they have lots of copper ore around the place, actually. <laughs> so let's start making some copper. Is it just firewood? Okay, yeah. I'm going to make 15 of them. Let's do it. Machete is ready. Awesome. I can go and beat up crabs. I'll go put away that leftover copper ore. I'm sure I have a load of copper ore around. This is the thing. I need I need my chests to be a bit more organised, you see. So, so like, dirt and fibre and stuff, that would be fine there. And I'd put maybe any spare wood in there. That'd be kind of cool. Then I think maybe like over here could be for metals and stuff. Uh, so fat wouldn't really belong in there. Fat probably would more belong in with the fibre and stuff like that. Uh, spare iron hammer. Really should sell that because it's so uh, completely. Uh, it, there's completely got no uh, durability left on it. So the leftover copper ore would go in there. My iron would go in there, and bricks and stuff, that's fine. I don't want to carry that around with me unless I'm specifically going to go and sell it because it's annoying otherwise. So the fat I reckon would go in there with all the wood and stuff like that. So fat, earth, nails, wood. That 
actually a lot of stuff that uh, can be sorted, which is really good. Sorting out my inventory is not the most uh, enthralling of things to do, but I feel like it's kind of necessary. Look at all the iron ore. The stone can stay here, the silver ore can go, and the green ore can go. So the stone could just stay in that one. And in fact, if I've got any stone there, I'll bring it back into my inventory. Perfect. I think that's okay. It's a kind of know where things are. I'm not even particular. I mean, it might be better to have the metals kind of close to here, but never mind. How are we doing? 100%. Nice. Right, so we can start making some electrical wire. So, fridge project fridge is go. I feel like it'd be easier to make money if I can put things in the fridge and then properly combine them when I get enough of something. And then go and sell them to my, my, my dude, my friend. Okay, so I'm gonna need some fat and some fiber out of this chest here. And from that, we're gonna make a bit of duct tape. And I need enough for 10. So I can make like three. Well, let's get it started, but I need 10 of those wires, so. How many, oh, do you know what? It might be that I get more than one from it. It doesn't really tell me like how many I'm gonna get. <laughs> so it might be that I get 10 like I do with the, the sort of, I get five with the screws and one with the nails and it doesn't really tell me. If you go look on the, I know I get like, for example, pack of screws pack of nails but you get totally different amounts so it doesn't tell you how much you get of each one so we'll see let's see how much you get from each one of these so electrical wire we can make so you get four times four times eight times ten so actually that was perfect but stupidly i didn't check how to make uh, the next thing along <laughs> Clever Sheila, being clever all the time. Cleverest. That all looks fine. Doesn't look like it needs watering. Let's go and have a look at my chicky chicky D. Are you hungry? Do you need. Ah, oh, you've grown up. So that's good. And you've given me two eggs. Oh, how wonderful. You do need some more water though, but your feed is uh, looking good. So that's alright. There you go, that's topped up here. Well, actually, your feed is looking a bit low, so let's make you some more feed. Make some more chicken feed. We'll have eggs and we'll have a fridge and we're gonna have all sorts of cool stuff. Fridge is gonna take a bit of work, though. Um. Uh. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, grain. So wheat, apple, piece of cloth. So I need, how many pieces of cloth? I need four. So let's do four pe- Whoop. Ah, I need more. Okay, machete, here we go. Let's go get some more uh, fiber then. Oh, in fact, maybe the fiber, I just put it away. Did I just put it away? Oh, and that's ready now. So electrical wire, and we need mechanical parts. Oh, which requires electrical wire. Iron ingot and pack of screws. Oh, this is going to be a one, isn't it? This is going to be a one. So, pack of screws. We've got a pack of screws. Lovely. We've got electrical wire. What was the other thing? I've forgotten. Ah. Oh, iron. Of course it was. Duh. Some iron in there. I may need more electrical wire, which will mean more duct tape, which will mean more plant fiber. Plant fiber is does seem to be the thing I don't have right now, and I need for like everything. So we'll go on a little plant fiber scavenging mission in just a second. So mechanical parts, I've got enough, and you get one mechanical part. Oh no! Wow, they're like super expensive let's see how many i need double check how many i need for the fridge the fridge will be a huge thing though so um mechanical parts you need you do you need 10 of them 
And it only helps reduce item spoil by 50%. What? You need an advanced fridge to stop them from spoiling? Oh gosh. Maybe I should save up for the advanced one then. But then I need better electronics for that. Oh, that sucks so much. Also, I don't have enough electronics to... Well, maybe by the time I've made it all, I'll have enough electronics. Let's have a look at my electronics skill. My skills in general, so... Electronics, we've so far done 3 out of 100. <laughs> to even get to level 1. This fridge is not happening, is it? It's not going to be happening anytime soon. So I think what I want to do is I want to get a chest. We'll do this more slowly. So I'm going to make a small chest. I need plant fiber and wood. Okay. Again. Plant fiber all the way. So we're just going to work on feeding the chicken for now. It's so it's so disheartening though, isn't it? When you, you're like, oh, I'm going to make this thing. And then you're like, but actually I need five grand to do it. Or I need like an entire power grid and, and all these things I don't have yet. But I imagine that when I do get them, it's going to be really super cool. And in the meantime, I think I need to go and kill loads of crabs and, and steal their little pincers. <laughs> I also need to work out how to get food as well. So yeah, let's go get plant fiber. These big plants here, they seem to regenerate quite a lot, quite well. So there's loads of them over here. I'm trying to avoid picking up all the little grass because the, the big grass could just give me the fiber I need. The little grass just fills up my entire inventory with seeds, which is great if I'm actually hunting for seeds uh, to plant and to make myself a bit of money from. But otherwise, no, it's not great. It just means my inventory gets more and more and more full. And so far, I haven't found a way to like increase it, so I'll be really careful with that. Is this another one that will give me plant fiber? I don't even know what I got from that. Try again. Might have been fat or something because I certainly didn't get fiber from that. I'm looking for the dark green ones, I think, for the fiber. What about these? These look like sort of monstera plants. Oh, those are fiber. Cool. I definitely, when I'm going across to other islands, need to be looking at this as well. So, like, does it tell me how much damage, like, my. Power 10, power 10. Weapon damage 25. Right, so that's going to be much, much, much more uh, good at, uh, for killing crabs and things than the, 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 the axe I was using. You know, That was kind of a bit of an emergency measure there. Right, so how are you doing? How, have you run out? Not quite, not quite, but you nearly have. So let's see if we can just... Sort you out some chicken food. So I need to make four pieces of cloth. And what else do I need? Then I will need two apples and three wheat. Now, I think my wheat might be inside, so let's go grab it. And I hope it hasn't decomposed yet, which it hasn't, so that's wonderful. Uh, but my inventory is all totally full. Oh no, actually, those can go in there. That's where they belong. And we'll take the wheat out. I really need to make like... Uh, I'll put away the copper ore and stuff like that, but I really need to make a, a chest to put all my little electrical parts that I'm making into. I feel like that would be really useful. So let's start making the chicken feed. I can make more than one, that's great, but I can't, so, oh well. One is enough to last for a little while, so. And then to make, like, a, just a basic chest will probably be fine for now. Um, oh, is that a hammer thing? I think it might be a hammer thing. Six wooden plates. Okay. So for that I need my wood. Okay. 
So put the bucket away. I just, I'm so short on space right now because I've, I've got my inventory full of, like, not rubbish, but you, you know what I mean. So six wooden plates, and that will make me a chest that I can just pop down next to the uh, electronics station, and I'll put all my electronics in there because that just makes so much more sense. And that will help my inventory just be... Not quite so full of stuff. I feel like I need to do more to decorate this place as well. I feel like I've, I've not done a good job of it so far. But then maybe that's something that once I've got some more of the basics done. I don't know. I, I feel like maybe I'm making excuses there. And maybe I, I could decorate better. So, oh yeah, sorry. Hammer. And a small chest. I want to rotate it with R. And pop it there. Lovely. So with that, I can just put in all the, like, if I make electrical wires, screws, nails, all that sort of thing. Maybe even my iron could go in there for now. I've got plenty of places. I'm starting to get to the point now where things are a little bit more organised. Not perfect, but, you know, a bit more organised. I've got a lot of organic trash now. This sucks. Um. Okay, so now my inventory is not totally chockers. Let's go and get the feed and feed it to the chicken. And then maybe I could go and grab the eggs and make fried eggs or something. Uh, e. There we go, perfect. I can buy more chickens as well to so maybe increase the rate of eggs, but at the moment one seems fine. It's like 400 to buy each one as well, so it takes quite a bit. Oh, okay, so I think that that actually might be the end of the episode. So we got the boat, we've gone on a little explore. Um, I've worked out that fridges are pretty darn hard to do and that what I want to happen is not going to happen with a normal fridge. Um... It's going to be the advanced fridge I'm going to want so that things just do not break down at all. I've worked out that uh, it's really cool to kill the crabs. They have probably about 80s worth of... Let's just have a drink. Uh, they've got about 80s worth of stuff on them that's really, really useful. I'm also going to cook the egg. So, paste it. Oh, can I not? Why can't I? I need cooking one. Okay. So how how much cooking skill do I need now to make the use of this? Um, I'm on eighty four out of hundred. So if I make myself another six, another twenty six things, usually you get one exp per thing you make. So I think if I make myself like another twenty odd, then I should have cooking one, which should allow me to make eggs, which will be wonderful. But I think for now we are gonna have another little snooze. And uh, pick this up again in the morning. So that is the end of the episode there. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves. And keep being awesome.